Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope you feel fine too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope you feel fine too. Sing it with me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope you feel fine too. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. How are you guys doing today? Good, I'm so happy to hear that you all are doing well. Before we get started, let's get into our morning prayer. I need everyone to bow your head and close your eyes. Dear God, we thank you for allowing us to see another day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for life. We thank you for good health. And we ask that you bless this service. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, Today's question is, who is Jesus? I want to know who is Jesus to you? So let's get into this short video and learn a little bit about who Jesus is. It's time for a Bible story. This is the story of Jesus. Awesome. I love this story. But wait, are we going to tell the entire story? Like from when he was born and everything? I don't know if we have time for all of that. I got a haircut later. And... No, we're not going to start when he was a baby. We'll pick it up a little after that. Okay, so like teenage Jesus. A little older. When Jesus was about 30 years old, he started his ministry. Cool. Wait, what does that mean exactly? That means he started teaching people about God, preaching the good news, and doing miracles. Got Gotcha. He traveled around all over the place, helping people everywhere he went. All day, every day, he taught, healed, gave, served, prayed for, and rescued people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. You can't just blaze through that fast. Like, what kind of stuff are you talking about? Well, just to name a few, he healed lots of people that were sick. Like a blind man that had never opened his eyes. Jesus healed him and he could see. Or another man that was crippled and couldn't walk. With the word, Jesus healed his body and the man got up and started dancing. Over and over and over, Jesus came across people that were hurting and sick, even ones that thought they would never get better, and Jesus restored them back to perfect health. Whoa, that's awesome. So he just healed people. No way. He did tons of other miracles for people. He took a little bit of food and multiplied it into enough to feed thousands of people. He walked on water and calmed a huge storm by speaking to it. He cast out demons from people, and he even raised people from the dead. Man, that's amazing. So that's all he did, huh? I mean, that's still pretty impressive. Actually, that's not even close to everything he did. The Bible says that Jesus did so many miracles and helped so many people that if you were to write down everything he did, you couldn't fit enough books on earth to contain it. Good grief. You're like exploding my mind right now. Jesus did that much for people? You bet. When we look at Jesus' time on earth, we see someone that didn't just tell people that he loved them. He didn't just think it. He showed them that he loved them by what he did. He didn't pass someone up just because he wasn't feeling it that day. He didn't heal people begrudgingly. He didn't look down on anyone that was in need. His attitude and his actions show us what he cared about. And the one thing that was always on his mind. Ooh, 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 let me guess. Hot Pockets. What? Yeah, like he's always thinking about him, like wishing he was heating one up, getting that cheese to bubble up like a little orange volcano. Uh, no, it wasn't Hot Pockets. Oh, wait a minute, sorry, I'm thinking of me. Hot Pockets are always on my mind. Scratch that, let me try again. I was gonna say, there was one thing always on Jesus' mind. Loving people. There you go. Even when it sometimes wasn't all that easy, Jesus still did everything he could to help people. Hold on, what do you mean wasn't always easy? Like, isn't this Jesus we're talking about? He's like the ultimate, incredible, can-do-anything superhero of all time. That's true, but when he was on earth, he was still a man, which meant he got tired and hungry and felt everything any other person felt. And that makes his story even more amazing because he never let those things get in the way of doing what he did. Loving people. Exactly. Traveling and teaching all the time was exhausting. One time he even slept on a boat in the middle of a huge storm. That's how physically demanding it was to do what he did. Man, that is some serious sleepiness. I bet his disciples had to use like a hundred alarm clocks to help him wake up in the morning. Well, I don't know about that. No matter how tired he was, where he was, or who came up to him asking for help, 
Jesus was 100% all in for showing people he loved them with his attitude and actions. Man, that is totally stinking awesome. And after years of traveling around like that, helping, healing, and teaching people, the time came for him to do the ultimate act of love. He gave his life. Jesus loved us so much that he took the punishment that people deserved and died on the cross for our sin. Man, talk about an amazing life. But that's not how the story ends, right? I mean, it, it can't just be over just like that. Of course not. After three days, Jesus rose from the dead and he's alive today. Oh, like right now? You bet. Jesus conquered sin and he defeated death. And that's the most amazing thing of all that shows us how much he loves people. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, we can be a part of God's family and know him like never before. Man, you weren't kidding when you said that everything Jesus did was about loving people. Totally. But here's the thing. There's one more part to this story. After Jesus rose from the dead, he visited his disciples and gave them a very important command. Go and heat up some Hot Pockets, no? but save one for me because I'm super hungry. No, he told them to follow his example and be just like him. Jesus said to go into all the world and share the good news, to love people like he did. But was that like just for the disciples back then though? No way, the Bible tells us to do the very same thing today. Jesus' life is a perfect example of what our life should look like and what we should do. We should love people like he did, but not just think it or talk about it, go and do something. Right, how'd you say it? What was that thing you were saying? Uh, our apple dudes and axes? Close. Our attitude and actions are how we show people the love of Jesus. And when we go into the world around us and love people, we're showing them Jesus. Awesome. Uh, but wait, quick question. Hold on. Does sharing Jesus with other people mean I have to like do anything weird? Like I don't have to stand up on the lunch table at school with a megaphone and like start yelling at everybody, do I? Nope. Okay, cool. Because I'm homeschooled, so I'd just be yelling at my mom and I don't think she'd like that. <laughs> it's super simple. Just do things the way Jesus would do them. When you love others and go out of your way to care for them, that's showing them Jesus. See how that works? Mm, so when a kid at school like doesn't have very much food at lunch, I could like share some of mine and that would be showing him Jesus. Yep. Gotcha. Or if my mom tells me to clean my room and I do it without throwing a fit and make sure I do a good job, that's showing her Jesus too? Okay, all right, I'm getting it now. Great. I'm catching your drift. What? I'm cashing what you're checking. Stop. I'm snacking what you're packing. All right, that's enough. Just remember, as you go through the journey of your life, you can always share the good news with the people around you, just like Jesus did, with your attitude and your actions. Can I do one more? <sighs> sure. I'm itching what you're scratching. Okay, I'm done. The end. That was a really cool video, right? I know, I really enjoyed it. So I would love to know, who is Jesus to you and how do you carry the love of Jesus with you every day? Who wants to go first? Sure, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm sure Jesus is very proud. So I'll go next. Jesus is my friend, he's my protector, and he's my provider. And the way that I carry the love of Jesus with me every day is by being kind to my parents, by being obedient. I'm being kind to my friends by sharing. And then I'm also being kind to myself for forgiving myself when I make mistakes. So now it's time to get into the activity for today. Today we're gonna color a worksheet of who? Can anybody tell me who? That's right, Jesus. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.